church. Yes. Where you got a church from? It's That's in right. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that right? That's right. You, you go to the church of your choice. It's not Jesus Christ. You're not going to pick him. No. He has to draw you in this. Amen. Is that right? He has to draw you in the church. Surely. <laughs> what did it say, reader? Which is not another. Which is not another. There be some that trouble you. Some trouble you. And would pervert the gospel of they, Christ. They're going to pervert it. Amen. And would Amen. pervert the gospel of Christ. And that means they're going to change what God mm -hmm. said. That's right. They want to come in another way. That's right. They want to come in a way in their mind. That's right. Their thoughts. Amen. Your thoughts are not God's thoughts. Is that right? Your ways are not his way. No. I don't care how you look at it. Your thoughts, I don't care what you think about. You can't think like God can think. Is that right? Amen. His, his thoughts is way above the earth. Surely, surely. His ways way above. Amen. Is, is that right? Amen. Amen. What did he say, reader? Go back. But, but though we... Though we or an angel from heaven. Now, this is some bold speaking here, isn't it? Man. Though we, you know, man have to know he's right to talk about the angels like this. That's right. You know, the angels are ministering spirit that came from the Lord. That's right. And, and Paul was speaking boldly because he, did, he realized that an angel from heaven was not coming with another gospel. That's right. Amen. That's right. He knew that. Amen. That's why he could talk boldly. That's right. Though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that, that which ye have received. What you going to be? Let him be a curse. Let him be a curse. Amen. You can't get it another one. That's right. I, you may as well come on and get the water. Say, I don't like where the faucet, I don't like where it's coming from, but you better get it because it, it's going. this gospel is going to quench your thirst. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to quench it. Amen. Amen. Don't quench your thirst. Amen. Is that right? Amen. It's going to be a well of water flowing up into everlasting life. Yeah. See, it's not but one, the one the Lord have built through the apostles, and that's the one I'm talking about. That's right. Is that right? What is it, reader? Ephesians 2 and 20. All right. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles. All right. And prophets. What you have to realize, people. Realize this, if you go in the word of God and you see Ephesians 2.20 and you see that the word say it's built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, check out what was built by the apostles. Isn't that right? That meaning the 12 apostles that Jesus chose to go out into all the world and preach the gospel. The Lord built it that way. Is that right? Amen. And, and I'm going to seek and see what they have done. Everybody should be baptized, right? Amen. Oh, yeah. You know, Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again, right? Amen. So you know, everybody just commonly know that you're supposed to be baptized, right? That's right. In water. I'm not talking about getting a, a sop or whatever, sprinkling water on it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about going and submerging in water like Jesus Christ went into the water. And when he came up, the spirit lit upon him as a dove. Oh, amen. That's right. And said, this is my son here. That's right. Oh, That's the spirit right. was talking, wasn't it? Amen. Amen. This is my beloved son. He and well who, pleased with the Lord. I'm well pleased. Amen. That what he said, Rita? That's right. Matthew 3 and 16. Yes, sir. I, I want the same thing when Jesus got baptized. Amen. See? And when, when he rose up, you had to look at the word. Amen. When he rose up, the apostles' doctrine now. That's right. When he rose up out of the water, though he had no sin, the Holy Ghost came upon oh, him. Amen. Isn't that right? That's right. Spirit lit upon him like a dove. Amen. What's that telling me? Read this, reader. Matthew 3 and 16. Yes. And Jesus, when he was baptized, yes. went up straightway out of the water. Uh-huh. And lo. And lo. The heavens were open unto him. What you talking about? And what? And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. The Spirit of God descending like a dove. And lighting upon him. And lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven sing. Lo, a voice from heaven sing. This is my beloved son. This is what? This is my beloved son. This is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. In whom I am well 
please. Amen. You want the Holy Ghost, you have to please God. Surely, and surely. when you're baptized, the Holy Ghost is supposed to come upon you. Yes. Is that right? Amen. Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. You can't live it without the Holy Ghost. Cannot. Remember, this is the apostle. This is the this is how it's built. This is how you have to receive the Spirit of God, and you receive it for a reason. Is that right? Amen. When you baptize in water in the name of Jesus Christ, remember this is the way it was built. That's right. And Peter got up and preached on the day of Pentecost. Yes. Telling the people to repent. Amen. See, why you talk about this so much? That's what Jesus told me to preach. That's right. And thank God you don't have my mouth. <laughs> you have my mouth all torn up. Yeah. Lord bless it where he can speak his word. That's right. Is that right? Amen. If you had a hold of my mouth and I'm speaking, you'd pull all my teeth out my head probably. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> but here come the Lord that causes us to speak by the spirit of God. God. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Surely. This thing is built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets and Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. In whom we are what? And fitly framed together, together, together. Growth unto an holy temple. See, we had to be a holy temple in before the Lord. the Lord. For what re reason? In whom ye also are built together for an habitation of God. For an habitation of God. Through the Spirit. Through the Spirit. Amen. This is what God is doing today. Oh, I thank God. I thank God for the Spirit. I thank God for humbling myself down where I can receive the Spirit of God. Yeah. Amen. That can go out and preach the word about Jesus Christ. Is that surely, right? Surely, surely. It's built. That's right. This thing is built. You people may not hear it. You may not understand it. But ask God for an understanding. Amen. If you want to believe God for righteous sake, ask him for an understanding. Surely, surely. Lord, lead me right. Amen. Tell me where I ought to go. I want to receive the word of God. Yeah. I want to receive the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, uh, when Jesus went down, when he rose up, the spirit came and lit on him as a dove. Amen. Amen. That's right. This is my beloved son oh, my in Lord. whom I'm well pleased. Well pleased. Why don't we be baptized like Jesus was? Amen. We got to be baptized in his name. My God, when we come up out the water, we may do the same thing. Amen. The Holy Ghost will come upon us. Surely. Is that right? Amen. Amen. It'll come upon you like a dove. Amen. Just like it did Jesus. Surely, Same surely. thing to us. Is that right? Amen. We receive the power of God, and when you get the power of God, you want it according to the foundation. Is Amen. that right? That's right. Amen. Matthew 7 and 24, I believe. Mm -hmm. Matthew 7 and 24. All Therefore, right. whosoever heareth these sayings of mine. Look here. And doeth them. You know, let me tell you something. The people didn't want to hear Moses. Mm -mm. And for sure, they didn't want to hear Noah neither. No. But it was God. That's right. It's God. Let me tell you something. You, you can misuse God if you want. Misuse his word if you want. My God, you going to be the one going before the judgment seat of Christ. And everything that you have done, evil or good, my God, it has to come up. So why don't, amen, you know God going to call it, amen, up in the judgment. Amen, why don't you repent now? Why don't you ask God to forgive you for all the sin that you've done before you die? Because if you die, your sin, and having been forgiven for your sins, having received the baptism, having received the Holy Ghost, when you stand before God, every evil thing that you have done going to condemn you. Amen. Even unto the words, amen, words spoken, amen, the words going to condemn you, yes. is that right? Yes. Words going to condemn you. Amen. Oh, I know it will. Is that right? Surely. Amen. What did it say, reader? I know the words. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine uh -huh. and doeth them, uh -huh. I will liken him unto a wise man. You wise, buddy, you wise. Which built his house upon a rock. Which built his house upon a rock. And the, and the rain descended. The rain descended. And the floods came. The flood came. And the winds blew. The winds blew. And beat upon that house. Beat upon that house. And it fell not. And it fell 
not. For it was founded upon a rock. That found upon that foundation Jesus built it on. That's Is that right. right? That's right. Foundation of the apostles. That's a rock. Amen. And who that rock is? Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. You have to build your salvation on the way that Jesus Christ have brought it to the world. That's Isn't right. that right? Amen. Amen. He brought it in a way that if you obey and believe, you don't have to worry about power to live holy. Oh, He'll amen. give you the power amen. to live holy. Amen. Is that right? That's right. All right, read it. What did it say? Matthew 12 and 36. All right, you look at the word now. I want you to get the word of God. See, all these things going to come up in the judgment. Mm -hmm. And if you hadn't repented. See, that's why God wants you to repent. Because Amen. God, God doesn't want to cast nobody in hell fire. But if you don't repent, that's right. as he told Nicodemus, you can't get in. Amen. Nobody can get in. I want to preach it until I die. Bless For the Lord. you would have the witness before you. Telling you what you ought to do. Is that right? Amen. What did it say, read it? Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you. What? That every idle word. Now, you know we said some idle words. Isn't that right? That men shall speak. Hey, you, you don't insult somebody daily. Is that right? That's right. You know you curse them out. Mm-hmm. You know what you said. That's right. Amen. And some idle words. Amen. When you say, I hate somebody, idle words. That's idle words. Amen. Say, I'm going to get him, and you get him. That's, that's idle. Is that Amen. right? Amen. Every idle word that men shall speak. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. What? Amen. You know, you, you know we all have done wrong. But, I, but I repented of mine. Lord, I was so ashamed, and I got the word in me, the gospel. And I, I repented for all the wrongdoing I've done. Yeah. Lord Jesus, I done done some things I'm ashamed of. That's but right. thank God, I repented. Thank the Lord. And when I stand before him, old, old Tisdale done some things, but look at that, reminisce. He did repent. Thank the Lord. He asked for forgiveness That's right. for all his sins. Amen. And now you're standing before the Lord, amen, and all your sins you have repented. If they come up, you say, all right, you welcome. Good and faithful servant. But every idle word, what did it say, reader? Every, but, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, what? they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Look at here, you have to give an account of it. For by thy, thy words thou shalt be justified. Uh-oh. And by your words, what? Th and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. <laughs> Right. Lord, look at here. Justify your condemn. And we all have said some things that will condemn us. Amen. But have we repented? That's right. Have we been baptized? That's right. Amen. If you repented and baptized and you still do wrong, you have to come on back and repent again. Amen. Is that right? That's right. Amen. All right. May God bless you. Amen. You have been listening to the Whole Truth Program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostle Dr. Incorporated. Located in Hartford, South Carolina, with Bishop Josie Tisdale, Pastor General Overseer. Tune in again to hear the Word of God preached in this program. 